HIV is a significant threat to U.S. forces. Military members have access to some of the best health care in the world. And the cost of keeping individuals healthy for a very long period of time with HIV infection is very high. It makes sense for us to join the global efforts to prevent HIV infection. It makes sense for the Department of Defense to put their emphasis on prevention. The public health has taught us that the most effective way to combat infectious diseases is to prevent them in the first place. We need to develop vaccines for the world's infectious diseases that we understand today, diseases like malaria, HIV, tuberculosis, as well as diseases that come periodically but come at a great cost, like Ebola. As, as terrible as the Ebola outbreak was, every 2.7 days, the same number of people die of HIV infection that died during the entire West African Ebola epidemic. We need to keep our eye focused on the threats that infectious disease present to us every single day. Malaria, HIV, tuberculosis, the big three killers in Africa and in other parts of the world remain a threat to U.S. forces as well. We need to, uh, to keep focused, develop countermeasures for those diseases.